Would you like to see the dog breeds that give even experienced dog owners trouble? Divorce dogs for beginners demand knowledge, experience and above all the dedication of their owners to become great pets. What traits make a dog unfit for beginners? Traits of excessive energy, territorialism, aggression and dominance. Beginners don't have enough knowledge or time to handle these demanding dogs. Before we get on with the list, if you are a newest to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and support the channel. And now for the list of the top 10 worst dogs for beginners. Dog breed number 10, the Rottweiler. Rottweilers are strong, daring and loyal dogs. They can be excellent guard dogs if they are socialized and treated well by their owner. The problem crops up with inexperienced dog owners. Although Rottweilers can be calm, gentle giants, they can also be dangerous and dominant dogs. They tend to be wary of strangers and especially of other dogs and animals. Rottweilers are calm, fearless, obedient, good-natured, attentive, self-confident, peaceful and brave. They are not great for first-time owners, but if you have some experience with dogs, they should be calm, loyal and incredibly powerful guard dogs. Dog breed number 9, the Italian Cane Corso. Cane Corsos are exceptional guard dogs that also require early socialization, obedience training and a lot of physical activity to become good pets. Canic horses are attentive, protective, stable, calm and quiet. As excellent guard dogs, they tend to be very careful and don't trust anyone except for their owners. They need early socialization and training to accept others. They are also gentle and kind toward all members of their family. Dog breed number 8, the Airedale Terrier. Airedale Terriers can become excellent personal guard dogs and tracking dogs. In the First and Second World Wars, they protected military officers. Why are they on the list of the worst dog breeds for beginners? Airedale Terriers are attentive, brave, intelligent, independent, self-confident and friendly. These dogs are confident and independent, yet highly intelligent, which makes their nature tricky to control for a beginner. If they don't get enough physical and mental stimulation, they can turn extremely destructive. Even experienced dog owners sometimes have trouble with this breed. Dog breed number 7, the Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff is a fearless family guardian and yet a very gentle dog. Still, these dogs require a stalwart pack leader who sets boundaries. Bull Mastiffs are reliable, loyal, devoted, attentive, strong, gentle, protective, calm and brave. They like thinking for themselves, so they need a lot of obedience training. Often listed as some of the worst dogs for beginners, experts don't recommend them to new dog owners. The Bull Mastiff can also be quite unfriendly toward other animals, so a re-socialization is vital. Have you subscribed already? If not, I hope you will since the best is yet to come, but if you liked the video so far, I invite you to share it with others on Twitter and Facebook and other social networks. Dog breed number 6, the Dalmatian. Dalmatians are happy, playful and open-minded dogs bursting with energy. This fact makes them demanding and less suited to a beginner. Why? They can get extremely anxious and as a consequence turn destructive if they don't get enough physical stimulation. Dalmatians are also energetic, intelligent, playful, sensitive, friendly and active. Their unique look and great popularity mean they are often chosen as pets. They experienced a surge in popularity following the release of the film 101 Dalmatians. However, the film caused another problem, which one? After it released, people started rapidly and unselectively breeding Dalmatians. That brought in some unstable bloodlines and dogs with behavioral problems such as hyperactivity, biting, aggression and etc. New owners often aren't able to handle these energetic dogs. Dog breed number 5, the Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute is yet another of the dog breeds often too demanding for beginners. They are robust and sizable dogs that require a lot of space and don't particularly enjoy staying in the house. They don't deal well with loneliness, yet they like to travel and to live on their own. Alaskan Malamutes are polite, devoted, dignified, loyal, playful and friendly. They demand a lot of physical activity, they shed a lot, bark often and are extremely sensitive. Many dog owners dislike these characteristics and find it tricky to handle these dogs. That's precisely why they are not a suitable choice for beginners. 
Dark breed number 5, the Border Cowie. The remarkable intelligent Border Cowie breed often finds itself on the top spot of lists of the smartest dogs. It's a lesser known fact that they are very agile, quick and energetic dogs as well. They love keeping busy and one short walk a day is not enough to stimulate them mentally and physically. Border Collies are smart, energetic, responsible, attentive and persistent. They demand a lot of time from their owner. Unless they get the required stimulation, they will be highly destructive and will likely chew on whatever they can find. Owners state that their Border Collies ruined half of their items in the house. If you are looking for a pet that will be staying on their own for long periods or you can't dedicate them a lot of time, the Border Collie probably isn't the right choice for you. Coming up, you will see the top 3 worst dog breeds for beginners. Let's take a look. The worst dog breed for beginners number 3, the Chinese Sharpei. Chinese Sharpeis can be amazing dogs if they have a good, experienced owner. However, they get very attached to one person, they are very toward everyone else, as well as extremely territorial. Chinese Sharpeis are very polite, devoted, independent and gentle. It takes a very assertive owner to get to know their Sharpe and treat them well. In the wrong hands, this dog can become a very dangerous guardian. The worst dog breed for beginners number 2, the Chow Chow. The beautiful Chow Chows look a bit like little lions. They have a reputation for being extremely demanding for a beginner. Why? Chow Chows are reserved, loyal, independent and quiet. They are intelligent, but also stubborn and quite distrustful, protective and territorial. To prevent aggression and problems with authority, these dogs need a good experienced owner. Experts often state that these dogs are under no circumstances fit for everyone. And now for the most demanding dog breed for first time owners, ready! And the most demanding dog breed for first time owners is the Akita. Akitas are exceedingly loyal and beautiful pets. Behind the pretty face, however, is a very strong, dominant and fearless guardian. They are highly sensitive as well as reserved toward everyone. Challenging for beginners, they need early socialization and a great deal of training. Akitas are protective, obedient, sensitive, very independent, calm and devoted. Even though they are not great for beginners, this dog breed is a symbol of loyalty. If you treat them well, you will have a devoted companion for life. It is in their nature to take the initiative to protect their home and family. We often hear that there are no bad dogs that can become good pets given the proper training, would you agree? Even if you are not yet an experienced owner, the best thing you can do if you would like to go for one of these breeds is to inform yourself about them. Almost any dog can become an excellent pet if you are a good owner. If I fail to mention a particular breed or you would like to share some related information with us, I invite you to leave us a comment below the video. Would you like to see more? In the description, I've prepared links to the videos of the top 10 deadliest, most aggressive, most dangerous, most beautiful, smartest, smallest dog breeds in the world and many more. If you found the video intriguing, I would like to ask you one last time to share the video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook and other social networks. Please also consider subscribing and joining the other animal lovers. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!